how to add a post with a link to a document, PDF, or a website. Whenever we're putting a post onto the website, it's always a good idea to prepare. So with that in mind, I've created a Word document where I have the heading selected. I have the body of the post typed. I got this from the document we're going to use. And I also got the link for the document that's here. I've also gone ahead and downloaded an image that I think is suitable as the image for this uh, post. We're going to go to Google Chrome now and open up the website. When you're here, you're going to enter your username and password. We're going to go straight over to posts and click on it. Then we're going to select add new at the top here where it says posts. And now we're going to start our post. So what we'll do here, we will add our title, the body of our post and the link. And we'll also put in the featured image. So I'm going to go to Word. I'm going to copy what my heading is going to be. Right click, copy and paste. Once again, I want to type that a second time. So I click into this block, right click and paste. I want to change this from being a paragraph to a heading. So I go to where the P is, press the change block type or style and choose heading. It's set at H2 at the minute to change it to H1. I move over and press H1. Now I want to add the body of my text. So I can go over here and press the plus until I want a paragraph. In here, I have to go back to Word. Now I have to go back to Word, get the body of my post, copy and paste it again. and paste. Now I want to add a link to the document for the post. So I'm going to come up here and press plus and add a heading. In here, I'm going to copy the text from up here and use it as the link and paste it in here. I don't want it at H2, so I can come over here select H3 or H4. We'll go to H3. And at the end, I'm going to put in click here to view. Now because it went to a second line, I'm going to make it into H4. Okay, that's just changing the heading size. Now on the click here to view, I'm going to highlight that text. I'm going to press the link button. I'm going to go back to my Word document, copy my link, and bring it back in and paste it in here. When it's paste, I have to choose the one. So it's this here. And I always like to hit open in new tab. Now that we have the link made, we have to go and change some settings on this post. So we move over to document and we come down to categories. And in here we type in resource. We don't have to type the full word. So R E S O and it should be under community workshop and resources. So we take resources. Once that's done, we move down and we want to put in our featured image. So I've previously downloaded an image that's suitable for the featured image. So I click set featured image. I'll come straight away and press upload file. I'll press select file. I'm going to go to downloads and I have to 
have a look down here and it's called COVID-19. I can type in COVID either, C-O-V, and I can see here COVID-19. And press open. Now we'll load up an image and we'll see it here now. And we're going to use that as the featured image. Set featured image. And that'll pop in there. So now we've added our featured image, we're going to add the image into the post. So to do that, we'll press the add button. We're looking for image. If it's not here, we'll move down and click on common blocks. And we can see image. So we press on image and we're going to go to the media library and we'll choose the image we want to use and select. That's quite a large image. So when we come over here, we can move down and choose how big our image is going to be. At the minute it's full size. So I'm going to go to half size, which is 50%. And I'm happy with that. Now, I don't like where it is on the page. So when I click in here, you get some arrows here. So I want to move it up and up again, or we'll leave it here. Now, as well as that, this image is centered in the middle. If I want to move it to the left or right, I can move it to the left of the text. I can move it to the right of the text. Or I can leave it centered. Centered sometimes is the, the better option. Now, if we're happy that it, our post is okay, we'll go and preview it. And here's our post, just the way we want it with our heading, our image, the body of the text, and a heading here with our link on it. And when we click the link, it would bring us to the relevant document. Now we have to go back to the add new post tab and we want to publish the post. So we simply come and press publish and we'll be asked a few questions before we publish. Are we ready to publish? Is it public? Yes. Is it the right date? Yes. And are we adding tags? In this case, we're not. And then we press publish. And now our post is published. We can view it if we want. We can copy the link and share it with somebody. And that's the post created with a link to a document.